Welcome back to more Blossom Tales 2, everybody. So in the last episode, I was here in this maze, and we're still exploring this area. So I'm going to actually go down this pathway, because I think this one doesn't lead to a dead end. We were last on the pathway on the right, and that one actually did lead to a dead end. Oh, there's a switch here. Perfect. Okay, so that opens up those, which is good. What's over here on the top left? That is a one-way pathway. Okay. So we can't really do much there. Uh, let's see if... I'm trying to think of what I can do here. Okay, so that just goes back like this. And then the pathway down there... Uh, no, that actually is something new. Never mind. I thought it just led back, but that's actually not the case. So I'm just gonna... Oh, shoot. Oh, I can't do that. No, I have to wait. You stupid freaking... Oh, my God. Keep dodging. Keep dodging. Go. Okay, let's see what I find down here. Anything juicy? Come on. Surely I must find something good over here. Okay, there's more of this blue... Okay, the, the blue walls are blocking. More blue walls are blocking here. Hmm. Is there a switch somewhere? That's the... That's the question. Well, this only goes back around that way. And then that one's a green one that's blocking. Okay. There's a puzzle over here. Oh my god. This one looks brutal. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go like this. Actually, no, that's stupid. What am I doing? I'm gonna go like this. Because that's two right there, and that one's two. We have to hit two there. Um, we can do... I mean, we have to do that, yes. And then up here, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, because if we go like this... There we go. That wasn't too bad. Okay, that's the blue one. So, that's good. We're gonna hit it, and that one should unlock the other one. I hate those things. I really hate those things. Okay. Let's hit that. That unlocks the green one. So, I think this area is now uh, fully open and unlocked. Aside from that one-way bridge that we're gonna be able to enter from the other side, but... Yeah, I guess that's fine. Oh, wait. Isn't that one-way bridge... Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, no. Okay, it is that. So, yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, we'll hit this for some hearts, maybe. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that completes another section. We are slowly getting there, you know. This place is just humongous. There's just so much to explore. Okay, areas under are closed. That's fine. There's actually not much to do here. I can only go up this way. So, I'll have to explore that room a little bit later, then. We're going to... Okay, we're going to hit that. It's good that I came this way. That does unlock that door there. And then... Well, let's see. There's actually a town in there. That's interesting. Okay, got some coins. Um, do I want to go up? I maybe want to finish exploring this area first before, you know, I get ahead of myself. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I came through the labyrinth gates, that's right. Hmm, big giant statue here. We got a new stand, okay, that's good. Let's just start exploring all these buildings one at a time and see what we can find. I can't imagine there being too much here though, so we'll just uh, kind of go through them one at a time here as quick as we can. Two more buildings down here. Let's take a look at these here. Oh, the sewer? We'll check that soon. Let's go in this one now. Just like people outside have no idea we exist, many believe, uh, okay. Well, that's whatever, okay. Yeah, nobody's really saying anything, you know, interesting, um, or giving me any items or quests, so... We're just moving right along. There's a pathway down there, which I know I do want to get back there in a bit. But before I do that, let me check this place. Okay, that's a stand, fast travel. That's always good to have. There's a building here. And once again, there's not really much to do here. Hmm. Yeah, another building that has nothing in it. Okay. Let's go into the next one. This one's a medicine place. Are you going to teach me something? 
No. You did not. Okay, there's nothing else in here. Let's go up the stairs. This one actually has a second floor. And there's also nothing here. Wow, all these buildings are so empty. That's so odd. Like, we haven't really encountered this before, where there's just a bunch of, you know, like, complete emptiness in all the buildings. And there's that. Um, yeah, because I ended up going... Hold on, I went to... Did I go to this one up here? I don't think I went to this one. Oh, no, I didn't. That's the shop. Okay. There's at least something in this one. Here's a heart piece. We'll buy that. Okay. Here's an energy crystal. We'll buy that. And here is an empty bottle. We'll also purchase that. Okay. Anything else to say? Not really, no. Alright, well, we at least did that stuff. And now we have to, um... We're gonna go in here. Hey, Miss Knight, ask Simon to our sewers. Could you help us out? Sure. Let's see what I find down here. Okay, we just gotta get rid of these enemies, it seems. Shouldn't be too bad. There's a lot of slime. I'm gonna have to kill all these little guys too, even. I don't know. Let's just kill them all, one at a time. Now we got this guy here. Is that it? Oh, shoot. No, I think I have to also destroy all the barrels. That's the thing. There we go. And with that, all the water magically got cleared. Okay, that makes a lot of logical sense. Look at the water. It's so beautiful and clear. You've done it. Take this as a token of our appreciation. Oh, wow. Okay. I'll gladly take it. Um, alright, so, from here there's multiple ways to go. I th think I want to go down. Because I was already in that room, so I'd rather not get too confused and lost everywhere. Let's see if we can do something down here first. Yeah, because this was the one where, let's see, I'm gonna hit that. That opens up that, okay. There's a little place I can go here. Okay, let's give this a shot. Let's see what we can find. Okay, that one's closed. There's a room in here, which I guess I'll take a look to see what's in here. Oh. Hi. Sorry, I should be more excited about my first time visiting in a long time. <laughs> okay. So we're going to escape, but the spell only works once a decade. Okay. Sure, anyway, I guess I could teach a potion. I have nothing better to do. I don't know if you really need any more protection. I mean, you made it this far. Combine the bellflower, green mushroom, blossom cod, and... Okay. I see. Okay, so we got a new potion now. I, I should probably make a couple potions because I'm going to need some stuff here. Um, so I'm going to need the... Oh, shoot. Well, one of them is going to be for later. You know what? I think I'll just wait on this then. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just wait on it. But I know I'm going to need some stuff for later on. Okay, I'm trying to find the pathway to get down there. Because that place is still blocked off. Yes, yeah, so I came from this side and I couldn't go down the other way before. So we were forced to go this direction. But now we can actually go this way. Oh, that does not look fun. Alright, let's take a look at what we can do here. Oh boy. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, um... Jesus Christ, dude. Okay. Uh, up. Down. We did it, we did it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was not that bad. Okay, and what does that do? Didn't that just open up that pathway? That really did nothing because I, I was already... Yeah, that really... Okay, it's really just to go f to come from multiple sides, really. Like, yeah, that's all I did. It just opened up that, but we had already done everything else in here. Haven't we? Or did we come from the other side? 
Oh no, 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 I did leave the treasure. Okay, it's probably just money though. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, well that's fine. Um, let's see. I think I do want to go down. Yeah, we'll just, we'll go this way. Sure, I was thinking about some, yeah. Alright. We got some uh, more of these Viking guys here. Pretty simple to deal with. Okay, once I kill them, I'll check out the room really quick. Okay. This one... Okay, this doesn't seem too bad. What's up here? Oh. Stranger. Smash. We don't need to fight. You've done bad things under the Minotaur King's orders, but I can defeat him. Feel free. No one leaves. No one enters castle. Fine, but I didn't get this far to fail now. Okay, this guy is, um, pretty simple. He just got a circle him. He eventually shoots a freaking laser beam at you. He just has to deflect it and then, you know, one of the corners and then you just spam your attacks and it's pretty much that simple. Like, it's literally just that. Then he starts throwing some boulders at you from the top, like, yeah, you know, it's pretty basic stuff. I think it's actually one of the easier bosses in the game, like, it should have put this way earlier in the game, I think. Okay, and then again, you just spam your attacks. And then, rinse and repeat. I mean, it's pretty easy to not take damage during this boss, you know? Well, and of course I take damage as soon as I say that. And you deflect it. And that's it. It's like so easy. It's super easy. And with that we get this. Tonight winked at her reflection and the golden shield and fastened it to her back. Think of this as like the mirror shield, almost. It's kind of like that from Zelda. And you'll see its purpose very soon actually. We're gonna start um putting it to use pretty much right away, you'll see. So like here for example, we're going to select this. We're going to aim at both of these. The nice thing is that it doesn't actually consume any energy. You can just hold it forever, you know, like, you know, against beams and you're fine. So, like, that's good. Anyway, there really isn't too much in this room. It's less maze-like. Okay, this thing is actually kind of annoying. You can't kill those things, um, but at least they don't hit you. They just stone you, which is really annoying. Anyway, here's a thing here. We're going to break this. And here we get another treasure room with just more money and stuff, so we'll just take it all, you know? Sure, why not? Okay. Well, there we go. We'll hit this. That opens up the pathway over there on that side. God damn it. How did you get me? Yeah, you just gotta mash the button to escape that. Okay, and then over here on this side, there's a treasure here, so we will uh, definitely open this thing up. And, yeah, that's about it for here, because if you go this way, it essentially just takes you back to this pathway that we've tried to go through in the past, but it actually was blocked off, since we couldn't go to the left side. So, yeah, we're, we're done here. Let's keep going. Alright, let's see here. We're going to now take the northern exit. We're almost done here. We are almost done with this. Okay, so in here, let's see, we're forced to go to the right. Another big puzzle over there that's also closed. There's a treasure here, which will take more money. Okay. Another puzzle. Oh boy, another crazy one. Okay, we're going to start with, um, I think we'll do that. We'll have to hit both of those, I think. Hold on, what if we do... I'm kind of just, you know, playing, t uh, playing around here with stuff. Let's see if this actually ends up working. Wait, why does that work? What the hell? What? Why does this work? Oh, you have to hit it like that? Really? That's kind of weird. Oh, okay. Well, I got it. Whatever. 
It didn't let me hit it from that other angle. I'm not really sure what happened there, but okay. Anyway. Let's just wait a minute. This thing. Why did I hit that? I'm so freaking stupid. Okay. Uh, but that only leads back that way, I think, because. Well, actually, I should probably check that out really quick. Let me just make sure. I'm pretty sure this goes back to town with nothing else on the way, but I like to be sure sometimes. There's just dig spots, um, yeah, pretty much nothing. I don't care about dig spots anymore, you just get money and like whatever. And then this goes back that way, which again, we've already seen. So, yeah, let's just uh, go to the left now. I guess I'll take these flowers just in case I need them for something. You never know. Alright, what's in this area? Shoot. Mm, oh my god, you freaking... Get over here. Oh no, not that way. Alright, there's one. There's two. And the last one. You have to like bait him out kind of. Uh ooh, almost worked. There we go. Once you get all three, that opens the doors. Alright, so there's two pathways here. Um seems like they both lead to the same place. Well, that one just goes up like that, but I want to see if, like, they create an actual, like, different route or something. Let's go out, let's go out through this side. Up this way. Let's see if I guessed right. Well, that's just, uh, I don't know, we'll see. I don't know yet. Okay, so this area, this is the very corner by the way, in case you couldn't tell. So we pretty much are almost finished exploring the entire area. We just have one area left over there. And then we'll be pretty much done with this, so. Okay, well here's this. That opens up that. Plus that pink one there. Okay, oh my god. Okay, well I'm trying to kill this guy before I try to solve this damn puzzle. Yeah, but this just goes around like this. And I believe here is where the um, other... Uh, actually, what the hell? Hold on a sec. That was just money. It's not really a big deal. But yeah, there's a... If I go from this side... Can I deflect this? I don't think I can. Yeah, that's where I would have come from. Right down there. And then this leads to another area, but I don't think I want to go there. I think I actually I'm go from the other side. But yeah, see how you can't kill those guys? It's kind of weird. What? That was definitely a glitch. You gotta be kidding me. How did it even happen? Whatever. Alright, um. We are going to. Oh boy. Let's see here. I'm really trying to figure this out because if I go... So if I go like that... This is kind of a tough one. Okay, here. I have to go straight right here. Now this is... I got it. I think I got it. We go like this, and then we go up like that. There we go. Not too bad. Okay. It's definitely not bad at all. Alright, so this opens up a pathway to the right, which I imagine is the actual way to progress, you know? Because, like, why would they make you go through that ridiculously hard puzzle? For no damn reason. Yeah, see? It's the northern entrance point. I don't think the southern one would have actually gotten you anywhere because you're locked from this gate. There we go. 
Okay, so and in here, let's see. We just basically have a couple areas to explore around here. I don't think there's really anything around here. Doesn't seem like it, no. And there's this here. Through, through dangers untold and hardships unnumbered, Holly had fought her way to the castle beyond the labyrinth gates. She was ready to face anything inside except one thing. What, Grandpa? Tell us the chance that she had arrived too late to take back her brother. Gasp. Wow. Yeah, so... We made it. We did make it all the way through, and that's nice, you know? However, we're definitely not going to be doing that dungeon yet. We are not ready for that. There's still a lot of side stuff to do. If you want to go in and complete the game, it's right there. Just take that dungeon, complete the dungeon, beat the bosses, and that's it. But we're not going to be doing that yet because we do want to actually try to 100% this game, you know? Uh, wait, there was something on the left there. Was there actually anything in there? I have to make sure on that. Oh no, it's just that. Okay, never mind. That just goes from the other side. So we are actually good because... Even from the other side... Yeah, like I'm pretty sure I would explored all of that. Like there was nothing else over there either. So we're good. But um, now we can actually go back. So by this point, we have to basically start thinking of the different places we ended up missing certain things from. So for example, the very first one that I'm going to go to is over here. There's two things that I want to do in the flower uh, building, the flower girl place. Okay. And basically what we're gonna... Well, hold on. Um... Yeah, okay. We'll just we'll go from the right side. Yeah, it's actually faster if you jump as opposed to using the ladder in case you... Weren't sure about that, you know? But here's the building. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the mail. My permit approval, it finally came. Yes, okay. But the next thing I want to do now is go ahead and sell you flowers. Basically selling you one of each. Especially if you don't have it, obviously, you know. Okay, I'm gonna go with that one, that one. Cactus Rose. Moonflower. Daisy, Bellflower, Poinsettia. Got them all. You bought the flowers I was missing? Last but not least. Wow, that's funny. I wish I had a reward for you after saving my flower shop. I'm just pulling your leg. <laughs> oh my god, you're so funny. Alright, there we go. Uh, but yeah, by this point, you don't really need to sell flowers. It's only, you only get two money per. It's a ripoff. But yeah, so that's all for a piece of heart. Um, now we have to just basically leave. Um, I guess I can just go down to the bottom and like, that's whatever, right? So, I'm actually missing a statue, I just realized. Where the hell is the last statue in this place? Like, I have no clue. I really don't have the slightest clue where that could be. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's go to, um... Uh... Yes, I got that one. Yeah, I don't actually know where this damn thing is. Like, how did I miss a freaking statue somewhere. I have no clue. Alright, so there's two things I want to do here. Uh, how do I get to... I want to get all the way over there on the right side. I mean, I think I can do it like this. Hopefully, I can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these paths will actually let me go through. And then from here we go... Well, that one's closed off, so I think I have to go from the bottom. I may have taken the weirdest freaking path ever, but... The other thing I want to do is, yeah, these things. I have to plant the trees. I've only planted one so far. So I'm gonna plant this one. That's number two. I'm growing, I feel tremendous. Or tremendous. That's hilarious. All these puns, man. I swear. 
Okay, so... I'm coming this way because remember that first witch that I ever met? So, you could have actually gotten these other things really early on. I just never came back here, but you actually get up to three spells from her at different points in the game. Uh, to get the second one, you have to forfeit your empty bottle that she loaned you. And to get the third one, you have to, I think, pay 150 or something, but we'll see. Let me talk to you. Hello again, are you back for your second lesson? Before we begin, please return the bottle. Yeah, so I'm going to return it. Thank you, let us continue. Open your textbook and turn to page three. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Um, uh-huh. A desirable situation. Leave this potion down and double the damage of your sword strikes for a short time. Ooh, okay. Okay. I see. Pretty good recipes. Yeah, so... Okay. I mean... I'll take it. So anyway, if you go over here, you'll be able to see. This is called the double damage one. Nice. Hello again, right on time for the third and final lesson. Before we begin, I noticed you aren't actually on my course registry. Uh-huh. 150, you have to pay this if you want to get the last one. Our final lesson is a very powerful potion. Be very careful when using it. Uh-huh. Unimaginable damage. Okay. You go so fast that everything else moves slowly around you. Okay. And that is the slow time potion. So basically what I'm going to do here... Um, I'm going to make a slow time potion and a speedster potion. There's a very good reason why. Why you need this. You'll see. Okay. And then... The slow time one. Alright. Now wait, I want to see one more thing though. Yeah, no, I think we're okay. I think we should be good. Alright, but yeah, that's all. That's all the potions available. I recommend you make a speedster and a slow time one if you want to go through all the... the song doors. Um, that is how you're going to be able to get through them, actually. But anyway... Uh, I'm really trying to figure out that stupid freaking... Oh my god. That last statue. I have five out of six. Where can that last one be? I have no idea. I really don't have the slightest clue. I can't believe I'm drawing a blank. I'll have to probably figure out after a cut or something. Alright, let's see. Yeah, so there's a tree. Wait, what am I doing? Sorry, I think I'm taking a weird path here. This is not the ideal way to get over there. Oh my god, dude. I mean, oh my god. I have to go all the way around. It's... I hate it. I hate all this navigating back and forth in all these different areas, you know, but... Oh well. Okay, so we'll go like this. And then go left again in here. Yeah, I already went through there. Okay. So from here, let's see. The next two things I want to do... Are... Going to be... Well, the first thing is I'm going to go back in here back in this area. This is for delivery, uh huh? Next one, Thomas, to the carnival. I think he's hiding out in the Periwinkle Woods right now. Okay. I'll be going there in a bit, definitely. So I'll talk to him in a bit, but I have to warp out of here because the next place I want to go to is, I mean, it might just be the song door. So you know what? Where's the next song door? It's right over... That was actually down there. I'm just going to do it right now. That way I don't, you know, forget later on. I'd rather do this stuff right now. I'm pretty sure the next two song doors, though, despite them being, like, you know, hard ones to get through because you need these certain potions, I think they only have gold behind them. Still, I'd rather show them to you in case you're wondering how to get through them. I think that's important, you know, as part of a Let's Play walkthrough. So we're just going to go all the way to the right here. So this one. This one we went to, I mean, a long time ago and we couldn't do it. Basically, what you want to do is get your damn arrows. And then you want to get the slow time one. So I'm going to set this one for B. And you drink it.
Uh huh, and then you have to wait. Oh shoot, I think I messed it up. Oh crap! Wait, I actually messed it up. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Okay, so we're gonna set the um, slow time one there. So basically what you want to do, you want to line yourself up to where you can hit like that. Two at a time, essentially. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna drink the potion. There we go. You need to be you need the um, triple arrow to be able to hit two at a time. And when you do that, you'll be in the clear, you know, for getting this stuff here. So anyway. Yeah, like I said, I think it's just money. Yeah, see? So it's not like for all this freaking effort. Like, that's all it is? Like, what the hell? I always thought it was like more, you know, but, hmm, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, so that was the first one. There is a second, uh, you know, note to door that I want to get through, and that one you do need a speedster potion. You will require that. So, let's just, I guess I'm going to warp over there. I also have to, um, Get the next, okay, now I have to get to the next tree, and then have to start making some letter deliveries, that'll be important as well. So, again, there's a lot to do. There are a lot of side quests that we have to finish up. And we're gonna go to, I guess the closest one would actually be right there. There's two things we want to do up here. I just wish I knew where that damn statue was, that last one. But I just have no clue where it is. I'm, I'm drawing a huge blank. Okay, so basically the freaking place is, uh, and then we'll go, I think it'd be, oh, this is not the note door, it's, um, it's definitely further left, okay. It's just a little hard to see sometimes with the map, like, that's why I always try to zoom it in as much as possible. I do hate, by the way, that it actually zooms out. Like, every time you, like, pause it, depending on where you are in the world, it either starts to zoomed out or zoomed in. It's very inconsistent, and I don't know what the developer's reasoning was for making it kind of random like that, depending on what area of the world you're in, but it's really strange. Like, it's really weird. Okay, so here's the place. For this one, what you're going to want to do is get the Speedster Potion, which is right here. I'm going to want to use it. Why did you... All right, here we go. We're gonna go, we're gonna go. Gotta be fast. But you can definitely do it. We did it, there we go. Not too bad, like I was saying, I think it's all just money again. Oh, whatever, it closed back, who cares? not a big deal. But yeah, this speedster does last a pretty, you know, decent amount of time. As you can see it's still on. It's actually still on. That's crazy. Okay, we're gonna hit that one. That's gonna open the one at the bottom. Then we're gonna hit this one, which is gonna open that one. Alright, let's run back down. Look at that, it's still on. There we go, finally ended. It lasts for like, what, 30 seconds maybe? Like, that's a fair amount of time. Okay, so I think that completes all the note doors. I'm pretty sure it completes every single one in the game. Like, I don't remember, if, I don't think there's any more. But, anyway, we have to go, okay, we gotta go down this way. Yeah, the tree is over on the left side over there. But we don't actually have everything yet. I guess I should've done all the seeds first, but, I mean, I guess that's fine. I'm gonna go down, and then we have to go left after that, I'm pretty sure. Shit. Okay. We'll go... Yeah, we'll go left... This is another thing, it's another stupid thing. This is the thing I'm looking the least forward to, because it involves so much fishing. Oh my god. I mean, by this point, you've seen one of every fish in the game. So, like, you should know where to get all the fish, that's why I'm pretty likely to just catch a bunch of fish off screen, like a bunch of them, and then just trade them all in for it. He's, he's got like five things. And for every single one you need like three types of fish, four of each, it's insane how many you need. Anyway, here's your honeycomb pieces. What do we get? 
Oh my god. Crazy, right? So with this, this is the Bee Medallion. This actually appeared in the first Blossom Tales. Um, it was never really popular in that game, I don't think, but um, yeah, it's there, you know, that's cool, I guess. But that's a reward. Um, where do I go now? I guess I just gotta go back to the right side. I mean, it doesn't make sense to do anything else, so that's fine. We're slowly getting there, so yeah, the big quest that I have to do is that freaking trading for mail trading post thing, you know? But I also know that I have to go right over... Okay, I'll just go to the bottom left corner. I think that's fine. I got a plan. There's just a lot to do. Like, I'm doing more and more slowly but surely, but there's still a lot to do. Okay. We're gonna go right there. Because there is a third tree right here. It's just a little bit to the north. I think that's the three for this area, but there's actually one in the desert area and one in the woods, I believe. We'll have to look at that in a bit, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, there it is. This one. Number three. Hey, thanks for planning me. May the forest be with you, knight. Cool. Number three out of five, so we're missing two. Uh, let's see, I'm just kind of looking. Um, okay, that's fine. Just looking at my status, you know? So, the next place to go to, I'm gonna go over to right here. Because I want to trade, or my, my fish, basically. There's some fish I have to donate to this guy. Or not donate, more like sell. But in return, obviously, I'll also get um, something amazing once you complete the fish collection, which I believe I have already. Okay. So I think I'm just missing... Was that it? That was it. You have restored my fish collection to its original glory. I have a special item I'd like to give you as thanks. We get a piece of heart. Nice. One more piece of heart and I go up to 18 hearts. I believe you get one from completing a long quest, which I'm not going to spoil, but I, you can already assume. Which means that we're missing five heart pieces, I think. I'm pretty sure. And I think there's one energy crystal. Anyway, uh, with that, I'm trying to think of what is next. I mean, I just have to go around and clean up a couple of the other heart pieces and stuff that I missed. Obviously, there's the big fishing trade thing. I have to catch a bunch of fish off screen. But the big main thing that I want to do is go with the um, the tr uh, freaking trading post mailing thing. So, that's where I'm going to go. I think for the rest of this video, I'm just going to be doing that. And I don't think I'm going to finish it because there's a lot. There are a lot of freaking mails that you have to deliver. Like a huge amount of them. And you'll see. Okay, how do I get over there? Uh, it would be from the right. Okay. But yeah, this guy that we're looking for, I believe, is a ghost. No, but it's not... Wait a minute, did I never go in here? How did I never go in this building? Are you kidding me? Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. Didn't the letter that she gave that he gave me was for? Oh my god, it was you! Oh my freaking god, I'm losing my mind. I'm, I'm getting so confused. I really thought. Oh Jesus, yeah, that's what happens when you freaking play a practice hall where you just did this quest. You're losing your mind over here, going crazy, like. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. Okay, anyway, there's a... Is there an easy place to fish here? I mean, kind of. I need to get one of those, um... The ghost fish thing. Oh my god, he's gonna see me, isn't he?
This one. I need one of these because I have to make a potion eventually. Another go elixir. And you need a, one of those fish to be able to do that. That's why I got that. But anyway, now we're going to go back over here. And we're just going to keep going with this, you know, this quest. Alright, so... There's like at least, what, seven more deliveries or something like that? Oh my god. It's crazy, they really stepped it up because in the other game, it was not like this. There were less. Okay. Express delivery means time sensitive, okay? Tim and Anchor Town. Okay. Sure. So you got two minutes to do that. It's, um... It'd be a little crazy, but what you what you want to do to make this easier is not warp. You can't warp. That's cheating. But what you should do is okay, right down, down, right. Okay. What you can do to make it easier, however, is actually doing this. You can call on your. I guess I should have called you before, but whatever. You can call on your little pet here, you know. So we have to make it all the way over there, which is not going to be particularly easy, but that's fine. I mean, having your, um, having your horse or your pig, whatever you choose, will make things a lot easier to just kind of get over there, you know, loop around. Because you move, you move significantly faster over time with, you know, your little pet here. You just have to go around all the way through. I think you, let's see if I'm doing this right, yeah. Go like that, and then you basically just go down here from the top. So you just go right one and then down, and I think that should be fine. Okay, so we go right, and then we go... Let me make sure here. Yeah, we're just gonna go down here. And we made it. All you have to do here is go into the actual um, shop, so the, the boat house, or the boat shop, whatever you call it. You do have to make sure that you, you know, because you can't take your pet in there. Here you go. Take the package. And that's it. Alright. So now we have to just go back. I mean, there's a warp right over here, which we'll just go ahead and take, I guess. Because it's like literally right here. And we'll go back up there. We just keep doing more and more. As many as we can in this video before we have to call it a video. But we are getting there. I know that in between episodes I'm going to be fishing a lot. Like a humongous amount. Um, yeah, okay. Let's go back down. I also have to figure out where... Um, oh man, okay, because see, I think there's a, a piece of heart in the first dungeon. I missed that one. What's the next one? From Hilda and the Sunkiss Canyons. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so like there's one, there's a piece of heart there. I think there's a piece of heart from completing all of the, the seeds with the tree. I think it's that, that's two. There's a piece of heart with a statue that I can't find, the last one, that's number three. Um, can I go? No, I don't think I can go, I have to go like this, yeah. That's three and there's two more. And I just can't... Well, the, the fish guy gives you one, I believe. So that's number four. But I just don't know where the last one would be then. Like, I really don't know. Also, wait, what's the best way to actually get over there? Because... It's actually kind of a problem. It's a little difficult to navigate over there. Gonna have to go around from this side, I guess. Can I even go like this? Yeah, I can, but I just have to loop all the way around. Alright, well, basically we just go like this straight up through, and this pathway here should take us to a. It's like a section. Right over here, to the left.
How the hell? No, okay, it is three. Never mind. Here we go. This is where you want to go. It's it's such a dream to get here. It's ridiculous, but there's your letter. Uh huh. Nether realm. Luckily, the way back is much shorter because you can just jump through everything, you know, and it's significantly easier to get through. Even like here, I think you can just jump through this graveyard or something. Yeah, so look at that. Look how easy that was. Oh my god. Okay, guess what? We're going back again. Okay. Going back over here for another letter. There's still like, there's still a fair amount of them, so we're just gonna try to get through, done through most of them. We could probably do two more in this video. Victoria, this is the freaking, oh my god. This is the one that freaking confused me. Like seriously. This is the one that I really thought I, I was doing last time because that's one of the newer ones that I was doing in my practice run, my practice file. Like geez, you gotta be kidding me. That's why I was such an idiot there going, you know, like, what the hell do I do here? No, it's because I was going to the wrong delivery. I thought I was delivering to... It's because I saw, you know, like, Periwinkle Woods, so I just assumed, like, oh, it's going to be somewhere over there, you know? But clearly that's not the case. Okay, so I just go... I think it's actually easier if I just go like this. If I go right and then just straight up. Yeah, I think that should be fine. There we go. Okay, and now we know that he's, um, or she, it's Victoria, it's going to be at the very, very top. I think it's this one. Yeah. Is that it for me? Uh-huh. Okay. It's like his canyons. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bit of a, like, love letter there. Okay, so... Oh, you know one other thing I should do as well? Stan. I forgot about Stan. Definitely forgot about that guy. Now, I don't think he has another piece of heart, so I've been thinking, oh, that's the last piece of heart you're missing. No. I don't think it is, because I don't believe he sells you anymore. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. But I guess it doesn't hurt to check. But where the hell is his freaking base, though? Does he have a base here somewhere? His might be a little further. Uh, I don't know. I think it's better if I just, um... I'm gonna go here again? Sorry. But it's because I think Stan is actually pretty close by in this war point. Let me just make sure on that. But I think he's right to the left. Yeah, he is. He's... I mean, he's across the freaking town, so I have to cross the town again, but... Like, that's okay, really. Gotta go through all of this here, and then just roll a bunch. There he is. Alright, let's see what you got. Hello, Stan. Yeah, so he wants to trade for that. That's everything I have to trade. Oh, see, yeah, that was it. But I'm glad that I at least showed you that that's it for Stan. So I finished another side quest, technically. Okay, and now we're up to, what, 53 minutes now? Okay, I think I can do one more, um... One more letter delivery. Should be able to. Okay, let's go. We gotta go around like this. Okay. So, let's see what the guy gives us. It, it might be another one of the time-based ones. I know there's another time-based one. And I think it could be that one, actually. We'll have to see. I mean, if it is, that's cool. That way, I just get that out of the way right now, you know? Alright, hello, you. Uh-huh. Yep, another express. 
Okay, so remember, uh, the, the bottom right corner. Yes, the bottom right corner section. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. I forgot about this again. Okay, what is it again? Right down there, okay. So the complete or the extreme bottom right corner of the map has that abandoned pirate ship shop. What you have to do is go there. You have to go there and hand his delivery to him. Well, let's do it then. And again, you cannot warp. If you warp, you cheat and you um, will not be able to do it, so... I think it just gets registered as, oh, the food in there isn't fresh anymore, because, you know, the fast travel took a long time in, you know, like, uh, you know, in the world of the story or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but it makes sense. That way you don't cheat it, you know, easily. This could be done in under two minutes, by the way. I should let you know if you actually do bring the, you know, the horse. It can, it can really be done in under two minutes. I mean, look at where we already are at. Like, that's insane. I believe it's down. Yeah, because from here, I think I can just go... I think I can just go straight down. I'll definitely exit on the bottom right. Like this. Okay, and then this one. Oh, Jesus. I went the wrong way. Uh, what the hell? Where am I now? Oh, yeah, no, that, that's fine. That's fine. We'll go like this. We're just gonna have to swim and abandon our horse temporarily. Yeah. But yeah, if they really wanted to make this challenging, they could have given you two minutes. Because with two minutes and your horse, you can like barely do this. I mean, look at this. I'm going to go in there with about 10 seconds left. If it was, you know, two minutes, not, not three. Alright, there's a delivery. Uh-huh. Oh, really? Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, well. Anyway, I think that is actually a good time to end the video. Um, I think the very last thing I'll do is I'll just go back over to um, the town and pick up the last letter. Or it's, I, I don't mean the last, I mean the last letter for this video, but there's still more than one letter. There definitely is. But yeah, I think I'll just meet you back there because the nearest warp is, uh, it's kind of up there, but... Well, I guess it's not too far. They just ride my horse, you know, so... Like, it's fine. It's like right up here. Yeah. So you know what? We're fine, we're fine. Let's just take it. And we'll just see what this last letter is all about. So I need to do a lot of extensive research in between episodes. I have to figure out where that last statue is. I have to figure out the, the last two spots for the, the, the seeds. And really just, uh, I have to catch a bunch of fish. That's one thing I really have to do off screen. And I have to figure out where that last stupid heart piece is because I really don't know. Like, I have no idea. Okay. Town at the center of the maze. That one should be pretty obvious. It should. But, um, I'll leave that for you to try and figure out for now. But in the next video, I'll definitely show it. So, before this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.